Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the coloring books that I have decided to take with me to Florida. So if you're unaware, I am moving to Florida in two months, um, almost exactly two months. Today is March 31st and we're moving on June 1st. And because of the fact that um, where we're going to be living is a pretty big downgrade uh, in storage space or in space in general, we um, are going to be leaving a lot of our belongings behind um, and leaving them in our house here and then coming back for them whenever we're in a place with more space. Um, my husband and I are going to be having a combined office now instead of separate ones. So we are having to kind of pick and choose what we're going to bring with us because there's only going to be so much space, you know. So because of that, I have had to um, cut down my coloring book collection and decide which ones I want to take with me and which ones I want to leave here temporarily. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I decided to bring. It is still quite a bit of coloring books, but I owned quite a bit. I'm taking less than half of them, which is crazy <laughs> to think that this is less than half and I still have this many, but you know, I like my options. So first I'm gonna show you the ones that are in my current monthly rotation and that I will be working on coloring uh, until we move and then whatever I don't like whichever ones I don't complete from this I will just bring with me on the move um, so first I have Colorama coloring book flowers paisleys stained glass and more by Bulbhead kaleidoscope coloring kawaii the cosmic coloring book by Mecca Woods um, art zone tribal animals coloring book tattoos advanced coloring by Benden and Underwater Kingdoms by the Coloring Space. So those ones will just, for now, um, my monthly like rotation coloring books aren't going to change until after I move. So those are those are them. I'm just going to put them up here real quick. And then the smaller ones that I'm taking, um, I didn't really go through these I, because they fit very like neatly on my cart, on my coloring cart. So these are just coming with because they don't take up any extra room. So these three are from Daiso. They're like large coloring posters and it comes with two each. This one is um, coloring map of Tokyo and Kyoto. This one is coloring poster adventure of cats. And this one is coloring map Japan and world. I'm actually very excited to color these. I really wanna color them, but they're so big and <laughs> My desk is constantly cluttered, so I just haven't had room. So those just kind of fit into the little nooks and crannies of my coloring cart right here. Stick those back real quick. And then these ones are the same. Uh, I've got the Yeah Nah um, coloring book from Typo. They're like coloring postcards. I love them so much. And then I've got these two, which my husband had gotten me from Japan. This one is like a doll one where you color it and then you can cut the dotted lines so you can like flip them and change the outfits and stuff. And then this one, these are from an anime that I don't know what it's from. They're just like cute little images from the show, whatever the show is. Sunstar maybe, I don't know. And then I have this one, which I think came with a movie. This came in a, like, I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, these are all, like, almost like Sugar Skull style of, like, the bad guy from all these scary movies. So this is The Hills Have Eyes. There's... Devil's Do, The Fly, Carrie, Child's Play. So I've got that. And then I have this, which is the 
sketchbook sketchy stories sketchbook art of Kirby Rosanis and I don't even know if you're technically supposed to color in this but I do um, because why not I colored that one I thought there was one more in here that I colored maybe not but I just figure you know why not color in them it's a very nice like it's basically it's basically a sketchbook like it's very nice paper they basically just duplicated his sketchbook so why not color them right at least that's what I think so those are all my small ones okay uh So this is Coast to Coast 48 Regional Scenes to Color uh, from Color Art. I guess it's Cynthia Silv Silv Silvery? Silvery that drew these. They're just all nature scenes. And I just really like them. Then I have the Tarot Coloring Book by Teresa Reed. Totally 90s Coloring Book by Christina Haber Haberker. We have the slap bracelets, yes. The ring pops. I love this. I love it. Uh, this one I brought with me because I have actually done quite a bit in here and I figured I might as well continue working on it until it's done. So this is the Col Colorama The Magic Path and this is one of the very first coloring books that I ever got and I feel like I do have quite a bit done in here. This is probably my most done coloring book of the ones that I haven't attempted to finish. This, I just like naturally colored in here a lot because it was in the beginning one of the only ones I had. And then we've got Cute Animals by Jade Summer. I'm bringing this one because my son has the same coloring book. So we can do some, um, some buddy colors in here. We already did a couple. We did this one. Um, This one I don't actually think was a buddy color. I think we just like dual colored on this one. I think that's what happened. And then we have this one that I haven't finished. Then I've got Modern Witch Tarot Coloring Book by Lisa St Sterl? Sterl? Sterl. I don't know. Oh, these are beautiful. I, ha I think I have this uh, tarot deck too. I think my husband got me the matching tarot deck. Pretty soitin. And then I'll have... I, I, I don't know why I can't speak today. Probably because I haven't filmed in a while, but... I have all of my Lulu Mayo coloring books. I want literally all of her coloring books because they are just so stinking cute. I haven't colored in a single one of them yet, but they are the cutest thing ever. And I just really want to color in them. So I brought all of them. I've got a million owls, a million sloths, a million cute animals, and a million llamas. And then I've actually got two of these. I somehow got two of them. I don't know how. I think my mom got me one and my husband got me one, I think. But it's the Bob Ross Paint with Water. Um, it comes with a paintbrush. And it's like those magic coloring pages where the ink, the colors are already infused with like the black ink. So when you activate them with water, like you watercolor with it, you know. But I really want to do that one. I figured... I'll bring one and leave one here since I have two. Oh, oh wow, I just started getting a headache like super randomly, that's bizarre. I have my, oh, ow. I have my Jen, sorry. 
That is bizarre. Oh, that hurts really bad. My Jen Racine coloring books, I've got three of them. I've got Cosplay Cats, Uncommonly Cute Animals, and the Modern Cottage Collection. And I really like these images. I think that they're just like really cute. I love the style. They're fairly simple. Um, that's another thing. I really kind of prioritized simpler coloring books for the most part because I know that once I move, I the likelihood of me having a lot of time to color is probably going to be pretty low for quite a while. So um, I kind of tried to prioritize simpler ones, like ones with pages that wouldn't take me as long. But I mean, as you'll see, it's not like a hard and fast rule that I followed. Um, this is the Margaritaville, it's five o'clock somewhere <laughs> coloring book. And it's so funny because it comes with like a, um, a DVD of like beach scenes and, and noises for you to watch and listen to while you color this, which I think is perfect. And then it also comes with like little mini posters. Um, and I actually kind of figured I would bring this honestly, cause I want to take the posters out and use them for something. And then I've got the adorable circle of life adult coloring book by Alex Solis. I think this is the cutest coloring book ever. Like, I'm sorry, the alligator is nomming on the monkey, but how is that not so stinking cute? Like I've never, never seen predatory actions that are this cute, mm, you know? Like normally a fox munching on a bunny while it is the circle of life is a little sad. It's just the, why is it so cute? Why is a fox eating a rabbit so cute? Like how do they do this? They put giant eyeballs on everything. That's what they do. <sighs> Maybe I'm just a morbid person, but I think this is stinking adorable. And then I've got circle of life. Um, by Melpomene Chatsipen, I can't even, I can't, I'm sorry, there's the name. I will butcher it if I try. So, I love this coloring book. It's like, I love these types of coloring books that were, I don't know, the, the pages are like an entire scene, but they're like in like a circle or in a certain shape. I don't know, it might be weird, but. Like, I just think this is so cool. And if it was just like a full page of this same scene, it just wouldn't be as cute. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I need to figure out what to do with these because the stack's getting a little tall here. I'm just gonna do that. <sighs> Mystical cats in secret places. Just super cute cats. Thought it would be nice to bring I only have two Christmas themed coloring books and one of them is like a Christmas horror book so I thought it would be nice to bring a Christmas one this is Debbie McComber's Very Merry Christmas coloring book it's got like Christmas related quotes And I think this is my only Camellia Angel Cova book. Again, I want like all the miniature series, but I need to work through some stuff. Um, 50 Ocean Miniatures. Super cute, super simple. Um, Effing Adorable. Cute Critters with Foul Mouths by Heather Land. A colored one in here the tree and I'm just gonna take that and color it I've got this visco girl coloring book by Danny Cates again very simple designs wouldn't take too much to color but I really like them uh, coloring I think it's the coloring the 50s I think that's what it says underneath the sticker. Relax and Rewind by Bendin. I love this one. It's so stinking cute. Very 50s. 
But it's funny too because when we move, um, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of our kitchen stuff and buying new stuff when we move. And um, I really want like turquoise or teal colored like 50s style kitchen appliances. <laughs> so definitely going to do that because uh, I want it so bad. This is Cute Witches by Jade Summer. Uh, what is this? Why do these have white backgrounds? Okay. I don't know. Um, so the book is split because there's duplicates, but. Cute. And then I've got Kawaii Horror and Chibi Horror by Jade Summer. And then I've got Coloring Book Cafe's Witch Coloring Book. I just couldn't leave this one behind. Couldn't do it. And then I've got these two, which they don't have an author, like, printed in the book anywhere, which I think is probably a big issue because I can't tell you who it's by without going online. So that's kind of irritating, but this is Creepy Kawaii. Very like cute, again, kind of simple pages. And then I've got Pastel Goth, which I think is by the same artist. Possibly. I had to stop the video, so I don't know where I left off, but, or I don't know what I was saying really. Next is Creative Haven Autumn Charm, and I didn't get this one that long ago. <sighs> it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I have another Camellia Angel Cobalt book. I didn't even realize. I have 50 Autumn miniatures, too. Nice. Anything Autumn-themed is... Uh... Oh, and I have another Christmas book. I didn't even realize I had a third Christmas book. That's fine. This is the Jade Summer Kawaii Christmas. See, I forget about things so easily. This is the horror Christmas one that I was talking about. This is the Beauty of Horror Ghosts of Christmas by Alan Robert. I have started one in here. I started this one. Don't know why I chose such a dark color for my skeletons. I guess they're very, very aged. <laughs> But since the images are all like shrunk down, it's pretty like small and detailed. But I wanted to bring my Christmas books. <clears throat> and then I brought this one. I actually brought, let me grab it. I brought my other comic one too. Because I love these so much. And I haven't colored them, colored in them in a while. But I think this is the one that I've colored uh, quite a few in. Not compared to how many there are in here, but compared to what my other books have in them. This is the classic comic coloring book, sci-fi and horror. And they're all um, like horror and sci-fi comic covers. I did that one. Oh, I just, I love, 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 love these so much. And they just come out so cool. And the ones that I've done so far, I have kind of tried to make them as close as I could to the actual cover. So these are all actual comic covers. These are real comics that really existed. And I love this one. I think they're just so fun. They're so fun. I love them so much. And this is the classic comic coloring book. I don't think I've done any in this one yet though, but you know, same premise. They're just comic covers. And then I am bringing all of my Alan Robert coloring books so I have them all out of order and I don't own all of them I own three of them but um besides the Christmas one this is Beauty of Horror 5 um Haunt of Fame so this is all famous people and like movie characters and stuff I think and this is the original one um Beauty of Horror I like that one. 
I don't think I've colored in any of these yet just because I find them a little bit intimidating. Um, and then this is number three, uh, Haunted Playgrounds. I love this one. This one's like carnival themed. <sighs> love it. Love it. And then I'm bringing this one because my husband has the same one. So I figured, oh, why is there like smuts on the front of it? My husband has the same coloring book. Um, he only has like two or three coloring books and he doesn't like color regularly. But sometimes we sit down and we color together. Um, and I'm hoping once we move, um, we'll do that more often. And he has this one. So I figured I'd bring it so we could buddy color in there. And then I'm bringing this one because my son has this one as well. Um, so again, we can do buddy colors in here. And we've both done this page so far. So that's that's half of what I'm bringing. That's crazy. I'm a crazy person, apparently. So I'm going to put these back and I'm going to grab the other half to show you. So another thing I tried to do when I was choosing which books I was going to bring was I tried to bring books from artists that I have like a nice collection of that's not necessarily um, relevant to this one but you will see in a minute what I mean but this one is sorry I'm out of breath from like trying to speed <laughs> I was trying to speed clean my coloring books this is amazing life collection by coloring book cafe so this has four books in one this has country life cabin life beach life and island life and I'm perfectly fine with having these books that have like multiple books in one especially when they're kind of related because in these ones it only comes with one copy of each image which I'm fine with because I'm not the type of person really that cares about going back and coloring the same picture again usually um unless I have a specific like challenge or something I'm trying to do so I'm fine with this having only one of each and it's just it's very pretty, very nature-y. And then this is what I'm talking about. So I have a bunch of Johanna, or Johanna, is it Johanna? I think it's Johanna. I don't know. Johanna Bassford books. Um, I don't have all of them, but I do have quite a few. So this is 30 Days of Creativity. I don't actually think I've colored in any of my Johanna Basford books yet, which is a shame, but I really want to bring them. Yes, sir. Can I say hi? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to weigh my hand. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mama, look, I, I, I put some plaster in there so it could look like real rocks were rubbed in me. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do that later. Okay. Go read. Bye. <laughs> okay, next I have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. This one is really cool. It's basically like a book that you can color. And again, just, it's a shame that I haven't colored in these yet because they're beautiful. This is Magical Jungle. I have a Lost Ocean. Worlds of Wonder world of flowers enchanted forest and secret garden do i have all of them i feel like i'm missing like one or two i think maybe i do have all of them i don't know but i have a lot <laughs> so there's that and then next i have my kirby rosanna's books where i have worlds within worlds and his books are just absolute magic. Like, oh, they're just beautiful. Oh, I love them so much. I have, I love his images so much that even though I have all of the like full books, I still buy his compilation books because um, even though I said that I don't care about coloring the same picture twice, um, his pictures, I would definitely not mind coloring them twice. So this is a compilation book. This is color morphia and this page right here uh, I have colored in the original book that it was in and I really like how it turned out and this page the Beatles oh. so yeah I don't mind having his compilation books also I believe this is his newest compilation book which is Kaleidomorphia I 
I'm pretty sure that this is a compilation book. And then I have Fragile World. Oh, look at the axolotls. And I've got Anamorphia. And Geomorphia, Phantomorphia, and Imagimorphia. And I think this is the one where I colored the dinosaur page. Was it not? Oh, yeah, it is. I colored this one a long time ago. This probably isn't how I would handle it today, but... I'm still really proud of how it turned out, and I think it was really cute. <laughs> so, and I think I used um, just like cheap color based or uh, water based markers on that one. So, those are all of my Kirby Rosanna's books. And then I have um, all of my mythographic books, which are by two different. Um, artists. So this one is by Fabiana Atanasio and this is Enchanted Castles. And again, these books are so detailed that they kind of intimidate me. So I haven't colored in any of them yet, but they are just so whimsical and beautiful. And I really want to color in them. And I figured I had, I had ended up having more room than I thought. So I decided to bring them. And then I've got Dream Garden, or, sorry, Mythographic Dream Garden by Fabiana Atanasio. This is Mythographic Odyssey by Joseph Kadambang. Frozen Fantasies by Fabiana Atanasio. And then Animals by Joseph Kadambang. This one is, I feel definitely thicker than the other ones. I don't know if it's the paper or if it's like how many images are in here. My son is reading Harry Potter very loudly now, <laughs> if you can hear him. Oh, that's so pretty. The manta ray. I love manta rays. Uh, those are all of my mythographic books. I only have four, five, I've got five of them. I don't know how many there are, but I definitely don't have all of them. Then I've got Mysterious Planet by Ico Icono. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But this one has like a vellum page that goes over it and <laughs> the duck has a crown. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I definitely had to bring my Megamundan uh, tattoo coloring books because these are so stinking beautiful. I'm going to show you the first one first. I think this is the original one. These books are just actual works of art. I mean like they all are but just like I just love the the vibe of the book itself. Like I love the kind of like cream colored pages with the gold details and the tattoos and everything and it's just so cool and then in the middle it comes with a big old poster and i think the second one actually comes with stickers as well and then i guess you could color the the cover if you wanted the inside this is the so that's the tattoo coloring book and this is the tattoo flash coloring book and this one comes with stickers in the back, which a coloring book that has stickers too. Excuse me, yes, need it. Oh, I just love these so much. And then there's the posters in that one, which I probably will never take the posters out of here. I just want to keep them safe in here. 
And then I brought one of my Crayola books. So pretty much all of my Crayola books are staying except for this one. This is the Art with Edge Sugar Skulls. And I just really liked this one. I thought it was actually really cute. So bringing that one. And then the last coloring book that I'm bringing with me to Florida is Romantic Country by Erie. And I only have this one. I don't have any of her other books. I haven't colored in this yet, but I would really like to um, do watercolors in here. I think it would be really pretty. What's up? What do you need? Uh, now I know. Look at all the kitties. I guess there's dogs too. <laughs> I'm more of a cat person. I like dogs just fine, but as far as like which animal I would prefer as my home companion, cats for sure. Anyway, that is it. Those are all of the coloring books that I'm bringing with me. I didn't even bother counting how many because I just like, it's a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm bringing with me. I was going to film a like updated collection of all of my coloring books, but I didn't get a chance to film before I started packing them. So I figured I would just do this instead I was planning on doing both of them but I can only do this one now but it's fine because you guys aren't even going to see the other half of my coloring books for probably a very long time so this really doesn't really matter if you guys see them now or not <laughs> um but yeah that's that's gonna be it so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did go ahead and give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye